We started hanging out a little bit, you know, casually getting to know each other uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s. People talk about how he would perform at Douglas Corner and he moved back to Nashville and, and about, about his legendary performances, about, you know, he'd, he'd take his apron off and come out and get on the stage and people would just like wait in anticipation to see Malcolm because he was such a, an amazing performer, so unique. The nicest guy in the room. He always makes sure that everyone's fed. Did you get food? Did you get food? I mean, just he's a he's a caretaker and a caregiver, and that's it comes to in his music. I think. I think he's amazing. That's great. That's great, Dave. Man, you're working your ass off, man. I love you. Fifteen years in the balls of thin and a double wild on the hill. Not a single thing I do. And I just found out today that Tony Joe, the amazing Tony Joe White, the original Swamp Monster, is coming in tonight to do what he does. Guitar, you know, what can you say about that? Yeah. <laughs> Wide open softly, the wind blows outside, hardly even noticed by my ears. Every evening comes. And yeah, I don't like that last bird. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and I so like to scratch that, that out, and that's all there is to Okay. Just read his lyrics, man. They're just so deep and profound. Some of the biggest songwriters in Nashville consider him be an unheralded genius at songwriting. They've said so, and, and I feel the same way. No one can make you cry and laugh in the same breath more than mine. No one really conveys that message of going to the other side with that southern kind of charm and let's wrap you in the blanket and it's time to go than Malcolm. And that's heavy to me, man. You know, on the last record, it, it was a lot of, in, in percussion drum world, there was a lot of noise and noise makers and cowbells on floor times and fun stuff that I love to do, and there'll be some of that. But we've also cut some songs that sound straight up Stonesy or, or the band, and you know, just all about the groove and the pocket, and his voice and his songs go great with that. On September, you know, we're, we're sitting there working this out and Jared, who's playing great dobro and, and lap steel and baritone guitar, he said, you know, let's just lay out of this first half of this verse. And, and it, was, it, was, it was really a smart move, it was a brilliant move. Yeah, man, what, a, what an interesting idea. It just frees you up to just be so expressive on the front of that verse without worrying about well, it. Well, you know, that just, I feel so free. <laughs> <laughs> The pictures from the 50s and the 60s come Struggling memories never done in the south 